This poor cat got outside and was probably bit and you can see bite wounds on the outside and of course they need to be cleaned up. So if you look uh, deep in the wounds there, you can see all those uh, white things moving around. Those are fly larvae or maggots. A lot of people think mistake those for worms and they're maggots, but uh, the cat's not actually anesthetized. It's uh, just laying there because it's super pressed. And uh, our assistant's helping me get them out of there, and uh, you can see it's really hard to get them out. We flush most of them out. We tried to flush them out with some peroxide. Uh, and those things are tough. They, a few of them came out. Uh, and after we did that several times, we got most of them out, but we still had to remove a few during surgery. So there's one escaping now in the foam, and you, as I pull back, you can see a couple more d deep inside the wounds. It's always important under anesthesia to look deep into uh, the wounds of any severe wounds like we have here and make sure what's happening. You can see the maggots that are left still doing their job. And actually, maggots clean so up all the dead flesh. The, actually, once we took it, you'll see the, the tissue that the, from the original dog bite I cut out. And here's a lot of the dead tissue from inside. And we got it flushed all the maggots out. You can see though, once we get the the maggots out, the, the fat is now glistening and it looks pretty healthy. Pull it together and then we'll just keep suturing it up with su these sub-Q stitches until, it, until we close it. And we separate it into thirds uh, to start and then we just keep putting in um, stitches until it's closed. But it's a pretty big wounds, but cats are the best healers in the world and it should heal up. Yep. With a sub-Q stitch, we go in from underneath, come out the top of the skin, pull it up, grab the needle, put it into the skin on the other side, and then usually what we do is to, to eliminate dead space, take a little bit of a bite in that fat. See that healthy fat? Doesn't look a lot better than it did with all those maggots crawling around in there? Yes. It's nasty. Nasty. Suture so we're going to pull the suture tight and we're going to leave a pretty good drain hole. We'll probably leave it open that much to drain because when it, it was so infected, we don't, we don't think we got all the infection out for sure. We did get all the maggots out though because they were nasty. For infected wounds, we always put a drain in to make sure that all the infection goes out the holes we want it to and it doesn't get locked up in there and go through the incision. It lets the incision heal around an infected area and the infected area gets smaller and smaller as the drain, uh, as the infection seeps around the drain. So that's what drains are for. Well, I hope you were able to stomach our little maggot show. Um, I hate to subject you to that, but it's a fact of life. Being a veterinarian, every once in a while an animal will get wounds and lay out where flies will lay eggs, and those eggs will hatch in the larva. And the larvae will feed on the pus and the uh, dead tissue that uh, are the result of wounds. It's funny, maggots, uh, as long as maggots are there, uh, bacterial infections can occur. But they do do their job in eating a lot of dead tish when, tish, a lot of dead tissue. When I did open the wounds and get rid of the the bite wounds and made everything nice and even so I could sew it up, and flush and disinfect the area, it it was amazing how clean it was once I got the maggots and the pus out of there. So they do their job. In fact, I'm sure you've heard where maggots used to be used in the old days, medieval times, to clean up wounds, and even lately uh, with MRSA infections, resistant staph infections, uh, they use maggots to help clean up areas that uh, just the antibiotics aren't helping with. So anyway, uh, you might be looking at a treatment uh, in the future. <laughs> Hopefully not. Well, you have a good day. And check out Dog Dish Diet if you have a chance, if you want to learn more about feeding dogs a better diet.